You want to know what the best way to defrost your freezer is? Watch and find out. This video took us five months to film. Because we wanted to do it right for you yeah. guys and get all the different ins and outs and angles and stuff about this thing. Just so you Freezing. know, we weren't filming for five months. Yeah, that would take a lot of memory cards. That's right. This will be our third segment that we're gonna put in this video. You can like that. What's that? It's weird, oh, sorry. So the first time we defrosted this thing was five months ago, and that was after we had lived here for eight months. Yeah, we made the mistake of going way too long because we had a lot of buildup. Freezers are easy to neglect, you know? It's dark little hole back there. You just close the door and pretend it's not there. Yeah, and I mean, let's face it, it's not a task that most people are excited about doing. Mm -hmm. One of the recommendations we heard about and didn't do when we first started RVing was putting these plastic little uh, cutting board sheets in your freezer right. to have the frost accumulate on those and you take them out. We didn't do that. So the first thing you're going to see is us defrosting after eight months with nothing in it. Build up like that. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to see a little incident and then <laughs> and then you're going to see, we're going to find out, we don't even know yet, if this whole plastic thing works. Yeah. And you know, it, it might not work because it's been five months again and it's another inch and a half of frost in there. We may have gone too far to reap the benefits of the little thingies. Yeah, truth be told, we knew that we needed to do this a couple of months ago. And life got in the way again. Again. So you might think, why are we defrosting a freezer in 20... 2019? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's weird. Why are we defrosting a freezer in 2019? It's the friggin' future. We should not have to do this. And the reason is this is an RV fridge. And RV fridges are not frost free. That's one of the drawbacks. That's really, I think, the only drawback of uh, an, an RV fridge. And maybe they're and, not as pretty. Yeah, and maybe not quite as big, but this is pretty big. Mm -hmm. The big benefit of an RV fridge over a residential fridge is the fact that it can run on propane or electric. So when you're boondocking and you don't want to suck your batteries dry just running your fridge, that's a great option. Yes, we are heading out west, mm -hmm. so we're going to hopefully be doing a lot more boondocking and the propane option will come in really handy. Yeah, absolutely. The big advantage of a residential fridge is A, it's frost free typically, and B, you almost always have an ice maker. I know. An ice maker would be wonderful. Yeah. Just push the little button or just But truth be it. told, we don't use a whole lot of ice. It's just usually for cocktails. That's true. We get asked sometimes, do you like the RV fridge? Do you wish you had a residential? Honestly, we really like having the RV fridge just for the ability to run it off of propane mm -hmm. if we're boondocking and not have to drain our batteries exactly. through the inverter. Yep. And it's come in handy already. So are you ready for our first attempt? Because here it goes. It's the day we've been dreading. Yeah. Putting off, I should say. Procrastinating. Yeah, so we've been, been lazy. Yeah. We've been in this RV for eight months and this freezer has some buildup. Yeah, it's some, never it's a major buildup. Probably yeah. about like that. Never been defrosted. Now we didn't go whole year like some people we know, yeah. Jason and Ray. You did some research, right? I hope. Did a little bit of research, but luckily Jason and Ray did the research for us. Jason and Ray, the getaway couple, did a video on their method, so we will link to that mm -hmm. in the comments. If you watch their video, you'll know the two basic ways of defrosting your fridge. One good way is using hot water in there to heat it up and steam and get behind the ice. That's the way they did it. We're going to try the hair dryer method. So if you want to check out both ways to do it and see which one's right for you, then there you go. Compare and contrast. I know one of the <laughs> I know one of the um, fears of using the hair dryer was melting stuff. I think I can do it without melting stuff. Yeah. We're going to wing it, people. Yeah. We've never done this before. Obviously. So the plan is to just get all the freezer stuff into the refrigerator. We're doing this before we go grocery shopping so right. we have room. Right. And we're going to do that now and then we're going to get the hair dryer out and see what happens. I mean, Hopefully we'll get this done in like 20 minutes. That's right. So So the food, the frozen food doesn't get unfrozen. Unfrozen. <laughs> so here we go. Let's do it. It's a mess. That's uh, bad. It's bad. That is called 8 months of freezer buildup. Yeah. It's called laziness. I like pizza rolls. Broccoli. 
<laughs> Pizza rolls and broccoli. This freezer cleaning brought to you by Bubba Buggas. We just turned it off. Uh, the whole thing? So does that mean the whole the refrigerator's yeah. off too? Right, so we shouldn't open it. Don't open the refrigerator. I got some towels. Guys, does your wife's hair dryer cable look like this? Yeah. <laughs> totally. Totally. All right, let's uh. Got some towels for the mess. We're gonna start the clock now. Okay. See how long this takes. What time is it? Don't know, but it'll be on camera. <laughs> okay. Go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Melting, I see melting. Melting, melting. Look what you've done. I'm melting, melting. Ooh, here we go. Our first big chunk. Here's one little bit of the iceberg. Iceberg, right ahead! It wasn't too bad. Nope. Okay, so that took 20 minutes. Success. What we're gonna do is, since you know we've read a lot online about people putting these cheap plastic cutting boards in the back so that when you're ready to defrost, you can just kind of peel these off. And you don't wait eight months or a year to do it. That's true. <laughs> just That's pull the stuff out, pull these out, break them, shake them off. It may be like once every two months or something. Yeah, well, I don't know. We'll try it out. And when we try that out in a few months, we'll, of course, film it. But we're going to put these plastic things in there. So hopefully next time it'll be even faster. So we got our plastic boards in, and I guess now all we do is put our frozen food back in and get it cranked up. Yeah. Yeah? All right. Our ice melted a little bit. It'll be frozen again for cocktail hour. Sure. Look at all that room we have in there. The thing you don't realize when you have an inch and a half of frost in a, I don't know. In an RV in freezer. In an RV freezer that's maybe, how deep is this? I don't know, that's a good question. Fourteen inches deep, so we were losing about two inches. So we lost about eight percent of our fridge. Yeah. Freezer. Turn it back on. All right. Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Good idea to always have one of these in your refrigerator and freezer, so you can see, open the door, see how cold it is. Right. We hang ours on right there. Okay. Hopefully this will help the problem that I was having with stuff not freezing very quickly. Mm -hmm. I think that will help. That was very easy. Once it got to where the frost was loosening up, I think it was good to have both of us working on it. I held the hair dryer and you used your muscle with one of those pan Little scrapers. Plastic pan scraper. Yeah. That was the way we did it. I think that that was really easy and it was quick, mm -hmm. 20 minutes. So we'll follow up with this in a couple of months and see how this little uh, cutting board thing works out. <sighs> we have a mess. <laughs> we have a mess. We've been filming our freezer defrost video for, uh, I'll say like a long-term thing. Well, we haven't been filming it this whole time. <laughs> We filmed it and then we wanted to wait a few months to see how long it would take for the frost to build back up. And it's been four months and I think we waited too long. Yeah, you because, know why? because we had stuff explode. Yeah. That's that's Mountain Dew right yeah. there, by the way. Yeah. And uh, so we it had got to empty, over, got all over everything. So we had to empty the contents out of our refrigerator because it exploded everywhere and a root beer started to explode too. And so it's a mess in there. Mm -hmm. On the plus side, at least the refrigerator will get clean thoroughly. On the yeah. negative side, it's we're at the RV show and we're tired. This is not the best day for this to happen. 
And this is the second time we've said all this because I forgot to press record. <laughs> so I'm in a really good mood right now. Yeah. Really good mood. This sucks. Let's see what we've got now. After five months, after our eight months, we've got quite a bit of buildup right. again. And as you notice with the great Mountain Dew explosion of 2019, that the fridge got really cold because yeah. of the buildup up there. So I, yeah, we're guessing that's yeah. why it is. It's all magic inside here. <laughs> I don't really know how it works. Right. We are not refrigeration experts. This is true. In this second attempt, we are going to use the hair dryer method again. It worked great the first time. Easy peasy. I mean, if you read the manual, it'll tell you to use warm water, not even hot water. You know how these things are. They've got to protect themselves and they're like, oh, don't. Don't use a hair dryer, you're gonna set us on fire. So, <laughs> use some common sense. If you're using a hair dryer, don't hold it in one spot until it melts. That's just stupid. Yeah. I mean, have some common sense. Just get it warm in there. Don't use an industrial heat gun. Right, yeah. <laughs> when we did it the first time, nothing got hot at all. No, it worked great. And he made sure that he didn't focus on one section like at a time so and it worked it was pretty quick we did it in like 15 20 minutes right they so saw they just saw that that's true so hopefully this time around goes even faster because we have the cutting boards back there this is truly the first time that we are doing this since you saw the last attempt in order not to bore you guys with watching us unload our freezer again we're just going to jump to our freezer being empty that's pretty bad here it is not as bad as the first time we did it. So the first time we did this, the ice had completely encapsulated the back of these shelves. Mm. This time it's not as bad as it is. It's a little bit on the top. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's, pro <laughs> <laughs> that's promising. I don't know that we're even gonna need the hair dryer. Looks, we might it, not. It, it looks like when I pull that shelf, because we had that cutting board between the ice and the back of the fridge, it's not attached to it. I think it popped right out. I can say that I think that I may have been right about something and we may have needed those cutting boards on the on the bottom part like we had mm -hmm. them before because we do have ice down here now That's so if true. we if we have to scrape anything it's probably gonna be that yeah true let's see how it goes i was right <laughs> wow that's so cool oh, yeah. Ooh, stuff is coming off Wonderful. so easily it's just breaking into big chunks wow so you can see that how the frost just sticks to this stuff watch so and there, cool. there it goes there that's goes. awesome easy so easy i bet if we get oh yeah The only problem is it shoots out of your face. <laughs> I want to do it. Oh, you know what? The part where there's no... Um, yeah, you can see it stuck to the wall. Yeah, the part where there's no cutting board is stuck to the wall. It's really stuck to the wall. Yeah. So that part we might need to use the hair dryer for. <laughs> it's snowy! Yay. This is a good... Yeah. Look at that. Super cool. That's awesome. Just a matter of a couple minutes, we were able to get all of the back ice off except for the middle strip here. And then we weren't able to get the, the side too. Yeah, the side in the middle where the cutting boards were not placed. So we might have to get some more cutting boards in the future so that they can kind of overlap. And then on the bottom, we weren't able to get the stuff on the bottom yeah. either. So. But I think even just having those in there has saved us a, a ton of time. I think that took about 10 minutes. Yes, Maybe. and that was us talking to the camera stuff. Too. Yeah. Probably would have been under 10 minutes. Just having a couple of these in there cut our defrost time in half. Mm -hmm. I think if we had some on the bottom, 
Am I talking like Christopher Walken no, again? No, I was just thinking, you mean like I said last time? Yeah, like I, I, like I said. Because <laughs> as soon as we start got the hairdryer on there, and actually as soon as I pulled it off, just not having the eyes stuck to the back. Just it was came, awesome. Yeah, it just came right off. Begin time lapse. So in conclusion, the hair dryer method works great. It's fast, it's easy. Just don't be an idiot and use a, you know. Don't be a dummy. Don't use a flamethrower. Use dummy. a hair dryer, preferably a pink one. Pink hair dryers work better. Use common sense. I mean, get it in there just enough to melt the ice. Start breaking it off, get the ice out. Yeah. Wipe it down, put your stuff back. It's not that bad. And as you guys could see, the cutting board thing really does work. Absolutely. Holy crap, that was so easy and it was less messy except for the hailstorm that came out at you a little bit yeah just remember we are not refrigeration experts so this is how we do it it doesn't mean that there are some people that are going to tell us it's wrong no it's definitely the right way <laughs> <laughs> and we're definitely going to get people telling us it's wrong yeah uh, but that for us this is how we're going to do it moving forward absolutely we wanted to share it with you again if you want to just try out the hot water method you can check out the getaway couples video on that we'll put a link for it in the comments below yeah Please give us a thumbs up if you like this and subscribe, click the bell. That's what it. else? Oh, Facebook and Instagram. Mm -hmm. Follow us there. Check out our website, changinglanesrv.com. We right. do blog posts and yep. things there. You can subscribe there mm -hmm. separately from here and get updates that way also. That's right. So that's it. We'll see you next time. Do you want to know what the best way... <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready. Today, we're gonna defrost this bitch. <laughs>